Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Save the Planet on this magnificent Monday here in Connecticut. Life's good, man. Life's good. Now, you saw the thumbnail. Uh, the Glasgow climate hypocrisy. I mean, it, 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 it's incredible what is going on, that these people are standing up. You know, it, it's like... <laughs> I feel like the emperor has no clothes. I'm standing up. Yeah, but he has the... Guys, what, what are we listening to? What are we listening to? I'm not a big fan of Greta Thunberg, but I'll tell you what, she walks the talk. The rest of these clowns don't. And I want to preface this by saying that this video has nothing to do with politics. This has nothing to do with politics. If you listen carefully... To what I'm saying, you'll say this is not political. Now, I'm calling out Biden and I'm calling out Obama because they are the hypocrites in the bunch here over in Glasgow pontificating some drivel and polluting the, the, the world while they're doing it. Okay? Trump, he made no bones about it. He didn't care about cl climate change. There's no problem with that. He wasn't acting like he did, but these two clowns absolute morons don't even realize that they're making fools of themselves. Okay? Now, <laughs> I'm going to put a link down below. This very this, this was several years ago when Obama was president. And a very uh, popular YouTuber named Lisa Johnson got an interview with Obama. And I have to say, he was very, very nice and courteous to this young lady to sit down and give her some of his time. Okay, but she came right out and said, the number one cause of global warming and Ob is meat, dairy, fish. And Obama said, you're absolutely right. There was no discussion. He agreed with him. So we agree with that. Lisa Marie, let's say Barack Obama, the number one cause, and I want you to watch it. It's, uh, I don't know, how long is it? Eight minutes, something like that. Meat, dairy, fish. Okay. So she said right out, and I loved it, but you're not vegan. And he just all but made a joke of it. Well, Friday night is steak night in, 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 the, in the White House. And myself and my family, we love our burgers. He just made a joke of it. He just made a joke of it. Now, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. So you are contributing to the number one cause of the problem, but you want to wipe it out. But Trump's the one. Guys, you can't have it both ways. This is so hypocritical, I cannot believe what's going on. Now, fact. <laughs> and that's it. Obama says it, not me. D don't come back and, and yell at me. The number one cause of global warming is meat, dairy, fish industries. There's no more fish in the sea. That's why the, 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 the ocean is too warm. It's killing off. The ecosystem is screwed. Cattle raping the topsoil, just raping the topsoil. And the, the, the amount of grain and soy and whatnot it takes to feed cattle could save the world just by eating the grain and soy. Without, it's just the worst thing. Plus, the detritus, the garbage from the meat industry is just... I would say f -ing, just screwing the ecosystem. It's completely poisoning the entire ecosystem. So these two clucks that are going over to Glasgow and telling everybody how wonderful they are, are contributing mightily, and I'm not through yet, to the number one cause of the problem. But they are holier than thou. Okay, now, let me ask you this. How did these two jamokes get to Glasgow? Ah, Air Force One. There's not an admission spewing nightmare, is there? That's, oh, no, no, that's all right. They can travel like that. But you and I, we have to get a mortgage in our house and buy a, a Tesla from Elon Musk. They're not driving electric cars. Look at the condition it takes for him to get to the, to the airport. 
Are those electric cars? I don't think so. Okay, so they're just ruining the, the with meat, dairy, fish. They are driving whatever they want, wherever they want to go. And I'm going to show uh, a close-up of the White House. Do you see solar panels anywhere? I don't. Maybe they're in the back. I have solar panels on my house. I'm driving a subcompact. I can't afford a Tesla. I will, but I can't afford a Tesla. So I'm driving a Hyundai Elantra, which gets 35 miles to a gallon. I'm doing my best. I'm a vegan. I'm walking the talk as the best I can. I do not wear leather shoes. I do not wear leather belts. We can go right down the list. Okay. Now, I want you to take one look at um, Obama's $45 million mausoleum out in Martha's Vineyard. Now, I have no problem with him living in this beautiful luxury estate in Martha's Vineyard, but I'm going to look closely. See any solar panels? Oh. Oh. So they don't do anything to control global warming. Nothing. But they're telling us we have to turn on our lights and buy a car. Oh, guys, come on. Come on. I'm going to make laws for you. But I'm above the laws is what they're doing. It's what they're doing. And guys, think about it's just about seven minutes into this. This has nothing to do with politics. This has veganism and saving the planet. It has nothing to do with it. Trump will eat his McDonald burgers and drive Air Force One, and he has his own Trump jet and the whole nine yards. He's no better. This is not political. So take that off the table. And anybody that wants to comment me, make sure you're vegan first. The number one cause of the problem. These two guys are just giving us the finger. That's all they're doing is giving us the finger. And yeah, I have a problem with that. Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables. That's all. And the planet will be saved tomorrow. Now, the problem with this whole thing, as you know, is that we can cut our emissions by 50% by the year 2030, whatever they have planned. But if China, India, and everybody else is going to, it doesn't make any, doesn't make any difference. It doesn't make any difference. Personally, I have a fruit tree in my backyard. I got solar panels. I'm doing my, I'm doing my part. These clowns are not. But I'm not up. And again, Greta. I find her so obnoxious and abrasive, I can't watch it. But she walks the talk. These two clowns are disgusting, and they are doing nothing more than giving us the finger. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> anyway, eat and drink your fruits and vegetables, save the planet. Love you all. Give your comments and criticism. Let me have it. Just don't use foul language. If you want to tell me I'm an idiot and I don't know what I'm talking about, that's fine. No foul language or I'll just delete you immediately. So if you want a voice on this comment section, keep the F-bomb somewhere else. All right? All right. Love you all.